Part two. So part one, we talked about what genes are, how these genes work, Punnett squares, uh, those kind of things. Now we're going to finish this video up by talking about who you get tests from, how you go about doing them, how it takes to get the results, what do they cost? So hopefully you enjoy this part. All right, bye. Who can do the test for you? Well, let's talk about why would you want to do the test? Because you want to find out what the color of your dog is because you want to breed that dog with another dog and it can be confusing. It's hard sometimes to tell exactly what the DNA color is of a dog. Example would be, my dog looks like a fawn, but is it a cream? My dog doesn't show any brindle, but I see a little patch on its back end. Is it a brindle dog? These are things that typically you can only answer reliably, either because you know the parents and you know exactly what they have to produce, which is unlikely, or uh, you do a DNA test. And so for me, on all of our puppies, we do a DNA test. Although in most cases we have a pretty good idea and we almost always get it right, we don't second guess, we get a DNA test. Why? Because if you are selling a puppy to somebody and you're making a, a, a you know, if you're selling a, a dog as a pet, then it's not quite so critical because you know, it's not being sold with breeding rights. But if it's being sold with breeding rights, somebody intends to breed that dog at some point in the future and they want to know what the DNA is because it's gonna impact the results that they get. So that's when you go get a test done. Who does the test and how do you do it? Well, you've got to give them DNA material. And there's a number of ways that you can do that. On very young puppies that are between three and five days old, you can remove their dew claws and you can send that DNA material off. Or you can do a cheek swab. They can send you a swab kit and you swab the inside of the mouth like this, like that on cheek, send that off. That's another way. You've got to be careful because if the dogs are young and they're nursing, then they can get mum's DNA from the milk. You've got to make sure they have not been nursing for at least about four hours. And I recommend you take a, a wet paper towel and you swab out the inside of the mouth before you do the actual swab. That's another way. You can prick them on their paw and produce a little bit of blood and collect that, and that's another way. And that way, I don't recommend it. The dogs do not like that at all. The dew claws and the swabs don't cause them any pain. So, I mean, you think the dew claw would, but it doesn't. That's what I do. Anyway. You're going to have to send off some DNA material. When you send off the DNA material, it's important that if you're doing multiple dogs, that you know which DNA sample came from which dog. You can't just put down dog A, B, C, D, and E, get the results back for dogs A, B, C, D, and E, and not know which dogs those are. So you've got to have some way of physically tying the test to the dog. It has a funny shaped pattern on its chest. You might take a picture of it and call that dog, you know, Mary. Um, you know, I always separate my males from my females because that makes the thing a lot easier right off the bat. But the point here is, is within the females and within the males, you've got to know which male is which. So when you get the test results back, you know which dog they're talking about. Because without that, you just waste your money. Okay, so who are the companies that you can use? The one that I use is Animal Genetics. Why do I use animal genetics? I've been using them for a long time. I find them to be very reliable. They're nice people. If I do occasionally have a test that I don't believe, they'll retest for me. They keep my DNA samples for a few years. So if I want to go back and do another test on a dog that's already been tested in the past, I don't have to send in another DNA sample. They can do it right away. Uh, UC Davis. UC Davis. And animal genetics, excuse me, and uh, vet gen. Vet gen. I'm going to put these two together. Uh, I like them. I understand their reports fairly easily. Um, these, by the way, they're all of these are about the same price, but they're slow. I get results back. Might take weeks. These guys here, typically with, within one week of them receiving my sample, I've got results. That's important to me because I want to advertise my dogs as to what they are. And I can't do that until I got the test results back. If I remove the dew claws at three days, send it off, about 10 days later, I know exactly what I've got and I can start advertising. With these people, it might be six weeks. By then, you've, you know, you've missed a lot of people who are interested in your dogs. Embark. Embark, I'm not crazy about Embark, but I get a lot of people who want, to, want me to interpret their results. They're a bit confusing on how they put the results together. They certainly have a, more information on Embark. And I think the last one is, there's probably one more, but I think it's paws and prints, I believe. I just don't know too much about them. We'll just talk about the cost for a moment while we're here. They're all about the same price. I mean, 
you can get a complete coat color test done for about 130 bucks. That'll tell you everything about the color of a French Bulldog. Now they've got, you can do individual tests. They typically cost about 25 to $40 a test. They give you discounts if you have multiple tests. Animal Genetics comes out with vouchers quite often that will give you discounts. And that can be significant, you know, 25 to 30% off. All of these people have other tests they can do as well, like four, five, six panel health tests. We're not talking about those things right here. But it makes sense to get a combination panel because it becomes less expensive. Um, and if you could take advantage of the coupons, wonderful. That will help you out quite a bit. And one other thing about coupons, you know, you can, if there's a coupon available and you do a, you put, you've got five dogs, but you put an order in for 10, you have to pay for them all right now, but the other five you can use down the road. So you can take advantage of a test down the road and, uh, and uh, don't have to use a test right away. Um, okay, that's enough on the, t on the companies. We talked about how to test and then about the price. So there you go, that's pretty much it. I mean, I recommend that if you are producing puppies that people that have full breeding rights, I recommend that you DNA test your dogs to find out what you've got. And I've got other videos out there that'll talk about this in much, great, much greater detail in terms of the individual colors and what the results are. Thanks for watching. Have fun with your doggies. Bye, buddy.